Our new favorite, Snofu, is determined that this, the fourth dynasty, be remembered as the greatest ever to rule Egypt. His architects have contrived a tomb even more spectacular than the stepped pyramid of Huni, and Pharaoh wishes you to oversee its construction. You will need to establish a fair-sized settlement south of Dashur, the site for Pharaoh's bent pyramid. Once in place, this city will provide the workforce necessary to complete this ambitious project. The bent pyramid is to be constructed of a plain stone core and faced with fine white limestone that it may forever shine under the desert sun. You will find sufficient quantities of limestone at Dashur, but you'll need to import the necessary amount of plain stone for this undertaking. Pharaoh wishes that our borders be pushed even further south, and to this end he has dispatched military forces to invade Nubia and to establish a fortified city at Buhen beside the second cataract of the Nile. To the north, Egypt has opened relations with Enkomi on the island of Cyprus. This land is named for its abundant reserves of copper ore, which are now a major import. Precious gemstones may be obtained from a recently established Egyptian outpost at Serabit Kadim in the land of Sinai. Lately, the supply has become erratic, however, due to unrelenting Bedouin and Canaanite attacks against the settlement, and we are uncertain how much longer the Egyptian forces stationed there can withstand them. Hello and welcome back to Pharaoh A New Era. We are here at South Dashur, the sister mission to Buhen. And this one's going to be a little different. We are going to build the very first and only ever medium bent pyramid that is historically accurate as well with the Pharaoh and everything. In this mission, we need a population of 3,500, prosperity of 25, kingdom of rating of 50, and a monument rating of 13. All right, let's pause and zoom out. Up here in the north, uh, right by the Nile, we have, of course, a little bit of Nile Delta. We have some green grass going down. Not a whole lot of green grass. It's a lot of desert here, so you got to build pretty close to the water. Uh, we have some meadow farming down there. A whole lot of nothing out this way. A little bit of a river up here with a tiny bit of meadow, which probably is not really worth it. Let's go look on the other side. Okay, all of our stone for limestone is over on the east side of the bank with a little bit more Nile. All right, let's look. All of our services are good. We have grain. I hate grain. I swear it's the worst crop. Uh, barley. Okay. And then we can cut limestone. That's our only raw resource, but we can do jewelry, brickworks, weaver, brewery, potter, and papyrus. We have three gods, Osiris, Taff, and Ra, with uh, Taff being our... Uh, patron deity all right let's take a look at this pyramid not too bad not too bad all right all of that you notice there is no military here either so that's interesting let's take a look at the world map here we are at um south west shore we have Medum right close to us we have beer barley they'll buy beer barley linen and limestone and they'll sell us plain stone as it said in the intro we need a ton of plain stone as the the lower the base of the pyramid needs more and more plain stone the higher you get uh, the less it needs and it's more limestone but uh we can sell limestone to them and we can buy plain stone so we'll be doing that in the beginning they're the only ones but we really need to get uh beer and probably linen being sold as well and this is a water trade route Sarabit kadim buys grain not worth it uh, abu papyrus that's something we could look at they will sell us flax to turn into linen, which we could sell to Medum and I think, yep, Selma Oasis. They will also buy beer, pottery, linen, and papyrus. So we're probably going to be selling a lot to them. All these numbers are pretty low, though. 1,500, 1,500, 2,500 on that one. That's good. So we need 3,500, but in any pyramid mission, the more uh, population usually you have, the better. But with staying within your... Uh, your requirements you know so i i got kind of got something planned out for this i think i'm gonna go ahead and go right here so we'll start up that way no i won't that is wrong here yeah it's there up five two three right there yep one two oh geez one two three we're gonna do our corner right here Go up 17. 
If you saw my May Doom video, uh, I doubled up on the housing. I'm going to be doing something pretty much similar here. Uh, back down 17, finish that loop off. Okay, it works out good. One, two, three. We'll put that one there as a marker. All right. So, let's see here. We need to leave our space in between for our houses. So that's one, two for houses, and one, two, three for statues, gardens. And then one, two for houses again. So let's go down. Just going to even that up. I'm not going to count that one. All right, there we go. 18, or eight, up 17. Cross eight. And then back down again. That looks good. All right. One, two, three. Give me my money back for that. If you replace a road with a road, it takes your money, which is interesting. All right. So over here at the corner, we're going to go down five. And go down five again. And then this should be, I want to say it's 11. Yep, 11 across, up five. This is where our granaries and stuff is going to go. One, two, three, four, okay. Very nice. All right. So that is two housing blocks together with all the gardens in the middle. Of course, we do need to get rid of this stuff, we are going to add an extra road here, which is going to take away a little bit. So let's roadblock everything up. Uh oh. There we go. I don't want to spend too much money doing this. I'm just going to get rid of the stuff that I, I absolutely have to right now. Because um, we, we have to start exporting. ASAP. We need to build up our population very fast as well. So I think I'm going to worry about getting barley down here, setting up brewing right here to ship to a dock that's right here. So let's actually go ahead and set that up right now. Uh, ferry crossing. Uh, yeah, let's put that one there. That one there, because we're going to start exporting plain stone as well as soon as we can. And then let's put our dock there. If you do it that way, they line up straight line and I'm gonna bring that one all the way down I think and bring that one up to me so now I'll set up all my stuff here set up all the barley there all right let's get our services in and fire fire there is no reeds on this so we don't need a pocket theory please Awesome. Okay. Water. So one, two. We can put our water right there. And this one, pay attention where that green one is. You see, that's kind of the bad thing if you put it here. You could put it here, um, which would work as well. You can also just move it over. Yeah, you know, go ahead and just put it right there. Actually, no, I won't. Take that back because I'm going to need to put task collector there. Or papyrus school or whatever. Or a school. Scribe school. So we'll just move it over one. Put it right there. Alright. So this looks like our basic setup. Let's get our people moving in. Move that one there. One. Go ahead and unpause. One, two, three. I'm going to trust that they're, they're going to move in correctly. One. Our town is building up here nicely. Let's go ahead and get our barley in. Three, one, two, three, four. Go up. Barley nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Seven, eight. Awesome. All right, so. Before I feed people, I'm going to put the grain up here and do Nile on that one because the inundation here only goes about halfway. So it looks like a lot, but it's really only about half. Um, so each barley farm, I think, is 20 people. If I do it this way, right, and then water lift. irrigation that way should work out 
quite nicely. So if we just layer these up, I think, if we do it that way, then another one there. I do need to get a road to that one. So you can always... Okay, I think I can get that. So that's one, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, so that would work. We go down one there. Ooh, that's 20, 40, 60. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not... Uh, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80... All right, we got we got more. A little bit. People are still moving in. We got room for more houses. All right. So, got all that. Let's unpause there. Uh, irrigate these like that. They are irrigated as long as it touches. 51%. All right. And that leaves us just enough to start... We have begun to produce beer over here. We do have the trade route open to sell. And I do want to uh, wanted to show you, this is what I talk about when I say the houses don't want to evolve correctly, is they do this. So, well, it looks like I won't be doing that again. We destroy that one, that one. Put those there. Our unemployment is still pretty high. Let's get, I guess, some... Well, first of all, let's make sure. All right. Half is getting kind of pissed. Put another. Thank you. I forgot about raw. Raw also will uh, make you be able to sell your exports for extra money, uh, an extra fifty percent. So that is a huge bonus. As soon as we get our initial uh, beer sold, we're going to increase our trade route. So it looks like we have one coming right now. Excellent. I can't wait to trade my supplies. So as soon as we start selling that, we're going to open up more trade routes to sell more beer so we can get more money. Um, our first year just ticked by. So, all right, let's set up. Let's come on. Give me that money. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and open up. Where's our closest one? Is it Abu? Nope. Selma? Land. All right. 900. I went a good bit of our profits, but we sold pretty much all of our beer out of that. Okay, let's get a couple limestone in as well. Since we have that trade route open already, we can start selling limestone and start collecting it, honestly. But I really wish we could turn the map. Come on, devs. So if you do that, click on it and then control click. Um you can get out of that screen. All right, we'll do that. Put our architect's post. I'm looking in the right place, actually. Uh, okay, our next inundation. It, we, it, uh, <laughs> I got the achievement saying that you get the where uh, you get the benefit where it doesn't matter at all. But I'm like, I have a Nile Delta, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't have um, anything on it. So we have 88 workers. So let's go ahead. We have more people coming to buy more beer. Let's start getting some grain going. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. There we go. That's the good one for raw. Thank you. Eight. We'll put eight of those in. All right. And then I'm going to pause it real quick. I'm going to put in um, some ditches. So even. Oop, can't do one there, I guess. That's a bummer. Looks like that guy's not going to be irrigated. Um, so yeah, even if you, uh, you're farming on the Nile, you still want irrigation ditches. It's kind of dumb. Wasted a little bit on that. doesn't matter. Um, just because it will increase the profit or the production by like 20% or even more. So one, two. Um, so we're going to go out nine. 
on that and down five back up nine do the go up nine all right and then we're gonna clean this up just a little bit just because it's bothering me and do the same over here so okay so we have those i'm gonna put three work camps in um technically we get by with just two but uh I'll, I'll go ahead and go with three on that all right and then do our normal firehouse architect's post what's this pharaoh can't you tell i'm already broke so he wants money we have it Go ahead and give it. We're going to sell some more beer here. Thank you. So hopefully we'll be good. Oh, he's buying limestone. Good, good. We're exporting that. We got a couple limestones over there going. There are eight grain farms. So let's look at what else we can branch into. We have some overpopulation. I think it might be a good idea to start on our monument sooner rather than later. At least clearing the bottom. So it could go right over here. Uh, thank you. I wish we could rotate these. Bring it down one just more. Well. All right. Excellent. They can start clearing that. And we can start still having trouble getting people fed. So we're starting to build up. I'm trying to just do one block at a time. But like all of these grain farms everything down here i put three grain farms down here and it's just still a struggle to uh to get people fed is it's the bazaars run out everybody runs out so yeah it is it is a pain everybody has all of everything they need it's just the inundation even with blessings from osiris is still just so so bad. Half is displeased. So uh, go ahead and throw that in there first. Double what they expect. I keep getting the I guess the 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 before the double is just like one, so it's it only gives me two. It's pretty bad. Still struggling with food. Pyramid's coming along. Um and then stones building up. You got to be careful as well. Like when the ships come in, they sell before they buy. So your numbers, if you're planning on like selling, if they're going to, if you're going to buy stuff from that ship, you'll drop into debt and you'll go right back out again, but you've already been in debt. So, you know, you get that money. I haven't yet. haven't been in debt, um, but I'm not really making a lot of money. Speaking of not having any money. Thanks, Pharaoh. Here's, here's a thousand. The pyramid is coming along quite nicely. You can see it has that nice little outer layer of limestone there. Um, yeah, still just struggling with money. Um, population's good. Our, we just had another more of a boon going up there. But it's just like I got a bunch of food and then, and then now it's disappearing again. It's, it's quite scary, actually. So I cut back on the beer production increase the pottery i'm buying clay and i'm selling pottery as well when it's over a certain amount but um it's just it's a struggle to get money the trading is just so so limited the only other thing i could really branch into is papyrus and i would like to have a little bit more money hopefully here soon um but it can definitely be done um Maybe we can actually just do a little bit of it. 
Put one there. Oh, actually, linen might be better. Let's let's take a look. So if we go to Medum, they'll buy 2,500 linen, and we're already selling to them. Papyrus. Okay, they'll buy linen. So that's two for linen, two for papyrus, but let's go ahead and buy reed, or I'm sorry, flax. Go ahead and get linen there. Fortunately, we're a little bunched up. But is what it is. We're not going to import a whole lot to start with. Hopefully, we can start making more money. Two, three, four. I'll just put four in. And let's see. We have flax. We got to open a trade route still. Which. Is it Abu? Oh, it is Abu. 650. Alright. Well. Let's tell it to buy. Well, we could do reeds now as well. Uh, import to maintain. Let's say. Okay. They're 54 pop. 1,000. Per, per bundle of 100. Let's. We can also say get iris. Do the same here for now. And then set up. This isn't long term, of course. Set up a little bit of those. We're going to do the same with. So hopefully, if we diversify into everything, we can sell everything so uh let's actually go ahead and say that right now export went over zero and linen as well export went over zero i'm gonna go to my bazaars tell them do not buy linen pharaoh has been pretty consistently asking for gifts of limestone money barley and he finally gave us 64 plain stone that is quite nice Thank you very much. <laughs> Basically, we just we import all our plain stone for the year because there's only 40 we can get a year. Build up our pyramid and then we wait till the next year. Get our next 40 stone. And you see, it's going to be 352 plain stone left, which is uh, yeah, quite a few years. So if we can keep getting these gifts, that'll be fantastic. All right, we're just kind of waiting on the pyramid to be built, really. There's not a whole lot going on in this mission. Finally, we got our money under control. Um, we did dip into debt, unfortunately. Just one foot in the water, but it was a bummer to do that. I wasn't paying attention, and I set up a bunch of stuff too much. So went ahead and evolved this block here up to the courthouse level. I didn't put a courthouse down because I still have some unemployment to deal with. 80. There we go. And then um, this one is still here, staying at the entertainment stage. You see our food. We fill up on food, and then it goes down again. It's kind of scary, but I think we're good. Um, we basically just wait till every new year to get our 40 stone. Going to the we're almost uh, to we're getting stone. there, 288 blocks. You see, we're fairly compacted down here. It's not my preferable way, and there's a lot of people just sitting there. Nobody's really wanting to buy pottery. There's no other places we can open. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we can try to... Braid a raw. Let's see. No, oh, I think we should probably play a raw. And probably put some more temples down. Because, oh, our population shot up to 4,000. That would be why. All right. Put two there. Staff is good. As you can see, we built the um, temple complex. So that's six for Osiris. And that should be uh, 4,000 something. So and then six there as well. So yeah, that should be plenty. All right, guys. Good news. We are here with only 32 blocks of limestone left, it looks like. And then they just got to chisel it down. Finally got all our plain stone in. 
buying more even though we don't need it. Let's uh, turn that off. Got this over here. Go ahead and empty. Almost done 16 blocks of limestone. I had a hiccup with food. Pharaoh requested a bunch of food. I gave it to him and then that uh, kind of offset my food for a little bit. So I'm just working on getting those back up. All the houses are re-evolving back up. You can see we have 135,000 Debon now. You can see they're just uh, chiseling this guy down here. Going pretty quickly. We can start cutting back on those. We do not need so many anymore. There we go. And... Put some more of those in. Let's go ahead and just get rid of the plain stone. We don't need it. What we do need, though, is granite. So if we look, we're going to work on importing that now. If we look at our... Uh, we need 32 granites. We need a full storage yard of granite. So we are going to get all... So two, why not? Then... Import to maintain. Let's go ahead and say 32. Let's look at our... They do 25. So if we buy some this year, if we buy 25 this year, we'll buy the remainder next year and we'll be good to go. By the time this gets carved down. The Pharaoh keeps asking for food. This is like his fifth and I'm, ju I'm just not doing it anymore. All right, our bent pyramid is done here for Pharaoh. We have it completed and we have the grave goods or the burial provisions. Let's go ahead, go to our overseer monuments, submit those and complete the mission. Pharaoh commends you the best pyramid you constructed in his honor. The bent pyramid in his honor is magnificent and outshines any monument built in the past. It took us 189 months, which isn't too bad. We wound up with a culture rating of 25, a prosperity rating of 52, kingdom rating of 95, and at the end, population 4,252. Right, let's take a look at the city. So, some of these houses, I had, I started giving uh, food to Pharaoh because he kept requesting it over and over and over again, and that really screwed me. And because uh, I was hoping for a more plain stone for free, yeah, so that was kind of a bad idea. Um, I wound up having a couple houses devolve. And as I started not needing so much population, I started removing some houses. Um, looking around, we did our typical double loop here with our temple alleyways, our statues in the middle right here, and then our outside loop up here with just these services. Um, everything else was pretty much locally right here, right on the other side of the loop, um, beer and pottery. Um, I was having really bad issues with money until I started doing papyrus, pottery, linen, and beer. I probably should, I think, took up linen earlier. And that would have allowed me to have probably, I think they, because it, it's pretty expensive to export linen. You make good profit. So I think it would have made good money versus just limestone and beer. Um, you see, I went from having like 3,000 to 170,000 at the end of the mission. So I, I was just stacking uh, to get rid of unemployment. I was just stacking um, more and more work camps. This is about all you ever get on the Nile inundation. Even when you get blessings from Osiris, this is basically it. So I just put more in because I had the workers and they were just sitting there doing nothing. So, And then our stone production over here. Ramped that up pretty early. Had two storage yards full. I was still selling it as much as possible. You can only sell so much. But yeah, guys, that was South Doshir. Moving on, it looks like Pharaoh has even bigger things in store for us. So... Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.